Hey Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to the channel. We've got some exciting updates for you today, especially as we dive deep into the recent highlights and developments surrounding our Kansas City Chiefs. So let's get started. We've seen some incredible plays in recent weeks, and it's clear our players are honing in on the finer details. We caught up with one of our young stars who shared some insight on what they've been working on in practice to ensure those crucial catches stay in bounds. With all the new faces and young players, building chemistry is key. It can be challenging, especially when you're trying to perfect those long plays. Our player mentioned that you can't really replicate that experience in practice. It's something that develops over time. He's been talking with the veterans on the team who have been giving him advice on how to learn and adapt during games. It's all about growing together as a unit, and he's excited to implement what he's learned. And we know he's also been inspired by his college connections. He recently ran a play inspired by his time at Texas, and he was thrilled to be part of that. You could see the confidence building in that drive where he made some big catches, culminating in a touchdown. He shared, I feel like I'm getting more comfortable and understanding the game better. It's great to see the growth in our young guys. After suffering our first loss of the season, it's evident that the team is focused and ready to bounce back. Our players are locked in with a burning desire to correct any mistakes. Losses can leave a bad taste in your mouth, but it's all part of the process. They're eager to learn and improve. Now, speaking of improving, there's been some conversation around the team's sack rate this year. Although our numbers may not look as impressive, trust that every player is putting in the effort every single play. Opposing teams are respecting our rush, and it's creating different challenges. Our star defensive player highlighted the importance of having someone like Chris Jones in the middle. His presence commands attention, allowing for matchups that benefit the entire defense. As we prepare for the upcoming matchup against the Carolina Panthers, we notice the adjustments we need to make. Each quarterback presents a different challenge, and while we respect Bryce Young's talent, we're determined to make a strong impact. Switching gears, we had a special guest at Arrowhead Stadium this week, none other than Coach Prime, Diane Sanders. He shared a heartfelt moment with our own Andy Reid. Sanders called Reid one of his heroes, and who can blame him? Andy Reid has built an incredible legacy in Kansas City. What's your favorite Andy Reid moment? Share it in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this coverage, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We're on a mission to reach 2,000 subscribers, and your support means everything. Now, as we look ahead, Andy Reid has transformed this franchise into a powerhouse over the years. With three Super Bowl appearances and multiple AFC championships since 2019, the Chiefs' future looks bright. Do you think Reed is the greatest head coach in Chiefs history? Drop a yes or no in the comments and tell us why. As for Coach Prime, his Colorado Buffaloes are on a roll too. Heading into their matchup against the Jayhawks, they're looking to keep the momentum going, and Arrowhead Stadium is buzzing as they prepare. Before we wrap up, Let's do a quick poll. Who are you rooting for in the college showdown? Type Buffaloes if you're with Sanders or Jayhawks if you're sticking with Kansas. Moments like these remind us how intertwined our love for football is. It's not just about the players on the field. It's about the passion, dedication, and mentorship that happens behind the scenes. As we head into the rest of the season, we know the Chiefs are on the path to something special and we'll be with you every step of the way. 